Hello everyone, what's up? It is Junior, of course, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Dragon Mount mod for Minecraft version 1.4.2 and above. That means it should work for future versions to come. Uh, with that said, you can go ahead and leave a comment if you would like me to show you how to install any other mods for Minecraft. Um, I'll try to get back to you and let you know if I can. Uh, with that said, we're just going to go and open the link in the description, and you'll be taken to the Dragon Mounts Minecraft Forums webpage. Um, so basically what we need to do is we just need to scroll down here. Oops, excuse me. It found the download section, which is right here. Um, so basically what you'll see is version for Forge, and then you'll see the actual link for it. So we're just going to go and get the actual Dragon Mounts whip link, so just click that. Uh, it shouldn't matter what version you have, this should always work for your, for installing it. So just wait five seconds, and go ahead and skip the ad. Skip ad, and then you'll get it saved to wherever you save it as. Mine automatically will save to my desktop, so I would highly recommend saving all your stuff in this tutorial to your desktop. It'll make the it'll make the tutorial far more easier for you and far more quicker. Um, so now we just need to go back to the Dragon Mounts page. So just go and scroll down, and right here it says Minecraft version 1.4.2 for me, or whatever version you have. It'll say version for Forge. Just go ahead and click version for Forge. What this will do is it will redirect you to here to the releases. Uh, basically, what you need to do is you need to get the version that matches your Minecraft one or the most recent uh, Forge download. So I'm just going to get Forge 6.0.1 or whatever version you need. So I'm going to go and click it, and all of them are set up the same. So here you'll see a little tab called Universal with AdFly and Direct. Just click AdFly, and basically you'll have to wait five seconds. Just do it, and when that's done, you'll be able to skip the ad. And it will automatically save to wherever you save it to. Mine saves to my desktop. Um, I'd highly recommend, again, saving to your desktop. Make the tutorial far more easier on yourself. Now we don't need any of this stuff anymore. Just go ahead and close both these links. Now what you'll see here on the desktop or wherever you saved it to, you'll see Dragon Mounts and then the Minecraft Forge link. What we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the bottom left and type percent app data percent. That's how you type it, and just click Enter. Inside here, you'll see a folder called dot .minecraft. Open dot .minecraft up. And inside here, we're going to go ahead and create a new folder. So create, new folder, and we're just going to name it mods, no capitalization or anything, and just name it mods. Now what you need to do is you'll have the drag amount uh, file on your desktop or wherever you save it to. If you open it up, you'll see some weird uh, files in there. You don't need to open it up or anything. Uh, you just need to drag the thing you downloaded into your mods folder. So just do that. That's all you have to do with it. Now what we need to do now is go into the bin folder. And in here you'll see a file called minecraft.jar or minecraft executable jar file. Right click that and open with winbar. Or 7-zip, you can use the um, any program that will open the minecraft.jar. So what you need to do now is you need to click metainf, right click it and delete files. If you, don't, if you fail to delete the metainf, you'll get stuck at the end of a loading screen or you'll get a black screen, which basically means you have to update your minecraft. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, so now what you need to do is you'll see a new link. Or, yeah, you'll see the thing on the desktop that we downloaded from earlier. Sorry about that. Um, basically, what you need to do is open up Minecraft Forge off your desktop, wherever you saved it at. And just go ahead and click close, or right-click, select all, and drag everything from Minecraft Forge into your Minecraft.jar. Do that. Now click OK. And go and close Minecraft.jar and close Minecraft Forge. Now you have the mod installed, you should be able to open up Minecraft and not get any black screens at all, and it should all work correctly. This is the first time I've actually installed it, so I'm pretty confident that it's installed correctly. So you'll get this weird little hello box, um, just wait for it to go away. And then Mojang should pop up, like it always does. And then, here we go. So obviously it's all working. Um, you can see all the mods, if it's installed right, it'll say Dragon Mounts Whip. Click Done. I'm just going to go into single player. I'm not really even sure if there's a way to show you guys that it's working. Maybe there's an egg I can get to put down. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so yeah, loading world, and it'll take a couple seconds. Um, again, it is a clean dot Minecraft, and so that means some of the sounds won't pop in right away, so it'll take a little bit of time, and because I just installed the mod. So we'll go to the creative menu, see if there's anything else that normally isn't in it. I'm not really sure if there is, because I honestly haven't played the mod that much. I just like the mod idea. Spawn Ender Dragon. Maybe this is what... There we, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay, so obviously it's working. Um, can we get on it? No? Oh, well, that's some cool sound effects. It's got a nice animation, too. Um, so obviously the dragon's um, working correctly. Um, obviously it doesn't normally do this. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As usual, please rate and subscribe and leave a comment if you want me to show you how to install any other mods like I said in the beginning of the video. Uh, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.